Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is a little bit of an astro alert. Saturn right now is squaring Pluto. That means a lot of fear and a lot of karma. And we've created a special series called Astro Extra, Saturn in Libra. Now, it's not free. We do charge for this, but it's over an hour video explaining where you are with Saturn, explaining what this is about, explaining the next full year, and explaining the tension you might be feeling right now. So if you're interested, come on down to soulground.tv, click on Soul Mart, and then Saturn Astro Extra. See you there. Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Well, it looks like it is, ironically, sunny and professional this weekend for the Leos, the royalty of the Zodiac. Put your heart into your profession and legacy if you can. And remember, legacy is not just your nine to five. It's what you want to leave behind on the planet. So it's your art. It's your children. It's your scrapbooks. It's your little sock monkey collection that you sewed. It's things that you want to leave behind on Earth to say, I was here. Okay, so emotionally, you're focusing on that through the weekend, and don't go to the dark side of the moon. You don't want to do that. Keep it positive. Keep it light. And if anything, just put some heart, do some light casting into the career that you do want to manifest. This is the perfect, actually, if you want to manifest career, this is the perfect light casting weekend for that. Zoom into the sun. We're at zero degrees Pisces today. I always say zero means zero. We're between two different vibrations, between aqua and Pisces. The transition vibration is kind of weird. In fact, I always think it feels a little alien to live on the planet, or I feel alien in my own life, or my house looks alien. That's just zero degrees. By tomorrow, though, the sun does move into Pisces, and this is going to shift now your focus from long-term relationships to trust, intimacy, and boundary issues. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, that's right. It may be a vulnerable month for you, Leo. In fact, as we come back next week, we're going to start first with your boundary issues with yourself, okay? where you are letting yourself down or not letting yourself down. Are you living up to your own rules or are you not living up to your own rules? Can you trust yourself in this situation? Can you trust yourself in that situation? It always starts with ourself. There's no way in hell you can enforce a boundary with someone else if you can't enforce it yourself. Okay, so we're going to work on what trust and boundary issues are not working for you. Do you feel safe? Do you have a comfort zone? Do you feel safe in your own skin? If not, why? Then we'll move into trust and intimacy with everyone everywhere, telling someone, hey, that wasn't cool. That's a boundary. Or surrendering. You know, you've been like this since childhood. Well, let's find people we trust and let's bring down those walls. And then the third chapter, which is the hottest one, is sex and intimacy. How we connect, surrender, and jump. Okay, so you'll be looking and working on that. Don't be too surprised if some ex-lover doesn't pop up in the next week. That is common. That's just the universe saying, hey, let's work on this. All right, Your Royal Majesty, that's all I have for the weekend forecast. I will see you on Monday with more. Live, love, be. So God.